when it comes to chemistry, forensics really helps us to understand it in quite a fun way. So you're going to be trying to solve a whole heap of different chemical problems at the different crime scenes that you have in class this term. Now, when we look at trying to figure out what a substance is at a crime scene and use it, it all comes down to identifying what that substance is, trying to figure out what it is, because essentially at the beginning it's an unknown substance. And the other thing we have to do is we need to match it to the substances that we find on suspects in order to link them to the crime. In order to identify and match, we have to analyze that substance. We have to do different tests on it to look at its physical and its chemical properties because every single substance has a unique physical and chemical profile. And that's what allows us to link it to the suspect and identify what it is. So to figure out the unique physical and chemical profile of an unknown substance, first of all, we have to do a whole heap of little tests. Now these tests involve um, exposing it to different environments. And when we do that, we look at how it changes physically. It's really important and it's very unique to every substance. We also um, expose it to different types of chemicals in order to see how it reacts. And that alone also is quite unique to every substance. And together this builds a profile of that substance which is unique to it. So we're just going to do first um, looking at the physical property profile of a substance. So these are things that we look at and measure or um, environments we subject it to and see how it changes that's going to change its shape or um, its size or it could even change whether it's in solid, liquid or gas state but it's not going to change the identity. It has the same substance because that's what the physical property properties do. Um, where you heat a substance up or cool it down or cut it up or break it or bend it, you still have the same substance. We're just looking at what happens to it when we subject it to different environments. So first of all, we always check what color the substance is. We check whether it has any luster or the ability to be um, to have shine if you polish it. Solubility is another thing that we look at. Um, each different type of substance will be either soluble or insoluble in different liquids. So you think about it, some things like fats, they don't dissolve in water, they don't mix with water at all, whereas other things will actually dissolve in water. So we actually will try and dissolve substances with different types of liquids and see what happens. Density is another one. That's how much mass a substance can fit in a certain size volume. In other words, is, is a small amount of the substance really heavy or is a small amount of the substance really light? So we can measure density, that's another unique property. Whether or not it is magnetic or not is really important. Here's another one, can it conduct heat or electricity? Some substances do, some du substances do a little and some substances do not. So we actually check how well it conducts heat or electricity and measure that. We also then heat it or cool it to see whether or not it expands and contracts or not. So different substances will expand an awful lot when you heat them and some of them they won't do much at all and that depends on what they're made out of. But you've got to be careful here because when you heat something up, sure it might expand and contract, it might even start to boil um, or, or melt. Okay, So we can look at how whether it's going to change states and at what temperature it does that. We can measure that, but if you heat it up too much, you can end up causing a chemical reaction, especially if you do it with oxygen around, because a lot of substances, if you heat them up enough, instead of melting or evaporating, they'll actually have enough heat in them to start reacting with the oxygen in the air around us, and they'll just light up and burn. So you've got to be very careful when you do that test there. Last but not least, malleability and ductility. As simply put, that's the ability to bend or break um, when you bend something or when you stretch it, does it stretch or does it break? And they're the physical properties that we're going to be measuring in a lot of substances and build up a unique profile for each one of them so we can help identify it.